Happening right now, extreme weather combined with other factors causing travel troubles ahead of the 4th of July holiday. Here's a look at flightaware.com. You can see there are thousands of flights delayed or canceled. Smoky skies are making it difficult for pilots to see, and the poor visibility is affecting the amount of traffic coming in and out of airports. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Whether you're traveling for work or pleasure, it may not be easy to catch a flight under these conditions. News 10's Amaya Kaznicki is in the newsroom right now to tell us more about all of this. Amaya. David and Ann, today I spoke with the Jackson County Airport manager, and he said in Jackson, visibility is limited and it's affecting airport traffic. Although the Jackson County Airport doesn't have commercial flights, he tells me larger airports are dealing with the same issues. On our way to the airport, um, I just pulled up the Delta app and said that our said that our flight was canceled. Derailing Andy Peters Mark's plans. What was supposed to be a short work trip turned into an extended stay in Boston. It's not um, not ideal, right? Not ideal. <laughs> Wildfires in Canada have cast a haze over the Midwest, causing flights to delay or even cancel. You can't even see the runway from here. Jackson County Airport Manager Juan Zapata says as long as the haze is in the air, airports will have to adjust the way they operate. An airport like Detroit Metro, if you have less than half a mile visibility, then they have to slow down and separate the uh, aircraft from one another by larger distances, and so that causes uh, airlines to cancel flights. And canceled flights are an inconvenience for passengers. You know, one of my colleagues spent the night in the airport last night just with the, the hope of being able to get out. Not only are you stuck, but passengers like Peter's Mark are forced to extend hotel stays. A couple additional nights in a hotel and food and, um, you know, that stuff starts to add up. Peter's Mark tried to book a flight last night and says basic economy tickets were going for $1,700. We talk about supply and demand in a time of need. Thankfully, he has a flight booked for tomorrow, counting down the hours until he lands back in Michigan. We reached out to the Capital Region International Airport and they said right now there are no cancellations. But as a reminder, when flying to another airport, you should be checking on your connecting flights just in case it gets delayed or canceled. Live in the newsroom, Maya Kaznicki, News 10. All right, Amaya, thank you. The haze here in Michigan isn't leaving anytime soon. The statewide air quality alert has been extended into tomorrow.